You guys, it's time for another video full of fun star power glitches like we do every single week here. However, this one is going to be a tad bit different as well. This time, I'm going to be taking to you guys in the comments of my YouTube videos, always leaving suggestions. The one that comes up almost every single video the most is the star power coiled snake. Use coiled snake on this brawler, use coiled snake on that brawler. And you know what? Since in the last episode, we tried out a brawler with a bunch of different star powers on that brawler, being my good pal Mortis, what we're going to be doing today is flipping it on its head. We're going to be doing one star power on several different brawlers in the game. You guys should let me know which format you enjoy more. I would like to keep this going, basically uncovering every single star power glitch inside of Brawl Stars. And before we get into it, guys, I was just having a good long thought about this today, and that is just imagine if third star powers came out in Brawl Stars, how fun it would be. I would be in hog heaven. I could just picture myself ripping around with 33 new star powers. Oof, I would love that. But guys, that's enough rambling for the intro. Let's get straight away into it. Here we go. So guys, I'm actually really excited about this episode because the Coiled Snake star power has a really close and near dear spot in my heart because it is one of Mortis's star powers and in my opinion, the best one. I shouldn't say in my opinion, the better of the two star powers. I do like Creepy Harvest better playing with it, but Coiled Snake is definitely the way to go. Now, another thing to let you guys all know is that Coiled Snake literally works on every single brawler in Brawl Stars, which is also really, really exciting. It's one of few that actually does that in the game, a star power that is compatible with all brawlers. So of course we can't show you every single one. Hopefully I don't miss one that you're looking forward to, but I promise I'm gonna be putting in my absolute favorite ones and the ones that I think are worth looking at. So let's get into it. So starting things off with the very first brawler on our list, and that is Shelly, guys. So if you guys thought Shelly was OP with the reins that she had Oh my goodness, that is crazy. <laughs> Taking a look at a face value on Shelly here. My goodness, is the animation going to show? I'm sure it will. So let's go right over the river. Whoa, my goodness, that was very long. What the heck? So this is a normal basic attack, how far it goes. If the bots don't disturb the piece here. So pretty decent. Let's wait for Cold Snake to charge up here and get another look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness, the animation goes all the way. It's one weird thing, man. I don't... Guys, this is why I made the bot tier list. I'm telling you guys, Colt cannot be underestimated. He is the scariest freaking bot in this game. I'm telling you right now. Or Frank, one of the two, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's head to the next one. Man, honestly, I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to show all these because I really want to see all of them. But we just don't have time to do so unless we really rip through it. But as you can see, Nidas, look at that. Is the animation going to go all the way? It does. Oh my goodness. I hope it does that for every single one. So this is base. That's the range. It goes to like the... Almost that tip of that star, those cracks in the ground look like a like a half of a star. And then it goes all the way past. That's freaking broken, man. This is what I was trying to say before the cult massacred us in the last one with Shelly. But I get the bar again, but the cold snake doesn't work. Or did it? Oh no, it just charged up again while I was waiting there. So the bar gets bugged out on other brawlers, which is strange. But another really cool one, Nita OP. Next one is Colt, and we'll see what we have in store for this one. I love seeing the range just increase when the Colt Snake Bar actually reaches its full. Look at that. I wonder if that's about as long as his second star power. Um, kind of an uneventful one in my opinion, just because we already see some long range from Colt on one of his star powers, but another decently cool one. <laughs> Next is Bull, and here we go. We have a brawler that already has pretty short range here we'll see what he looks like he's gonna have about the same range as like a shelly i think with cold snake which is freaking broken if you ask me it's a bit wider than shelly's all right let's see uh how much damage we do towards like the middle of it because we already know how much damage bull does at the very end of the range does this tick really want to die that bad freaking bots man the stupidity like everything about them makes me angry <laughs> Come here, baby. Okay. It did 1,300. I guess we're just kind of fudging around with stupid stuff here. <laughs> but still pretty cool. Guys, I'm thinking about just going the long haul and just showing all these. I'm having too much fun here. So, Jesse, um, regular distance or range here. And let's take a look at what Cold Snake looks like. You know what? I don't really appreciate Jesse's range enough. I feel like she actually has, like, crazy decent range here. I, always, I seem to overlook it a lot, and we're being sandwiched by freaking spammy bots. 
Get the freak out of here, stupid bots. But pretty decent. That looks like something like a Piper's range, if you ask me. Something close to that, or like a Brock. It's pretty cool. By the way, guys, you should let me know which one was your favorite in today's video if we are going to make our way through all of them. But next is Brock here. Ooh, that's some distance, man. As you all know, I believe Brock has a little bit longer range than Piper, as is in-game. So this really puts him in contention for one of the longest ranges in the game with Cold Snake here. That's really far, man. What the heck? Now, I have not even thought of trying this out, and that is Cold Snake on Dynamite. Who would put a star power from Mortis on Dynamite? My goodness, I can't even fathom it. So it just goes further. Did it even go that much further? <laughs> I don't think I even saw it. Okay, th that's maximum range, right? So it explodes there. <laughs> this is hilarious. It goes all the way over there. And it seems to be like the arc is a little bit bigger. I don't know. If it goes, it, it does go farther, but not much farther. <laughs> That's a funny one. Next is our main man, Bo. So we'll see what this looks like. It really makes you look at, like, how long a brawler's range is. Just taking a look at, like, the smaller things in the game. B, just don't bother me, okay? Just pick up your power cube and do your thing. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good deal. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's far. <laughs> I like that. B, want to mess with my range, do ya? <laughs> it just keeps going. That's nuts. I like this one. This has got to be one of my favorites so far. That and Dynamite just because it's so funny. <laughs> Franks! Moving along to Tick, and I haven't tried this one either. Um, I haven't tested any of the Cold Snake. Ooh, that didn't go. Oh, my, never mind. My finger was off it a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that's maximum distance. Man, the lobbers really don't get much with it. <laughs> they don't get much at all. It really like goes like a, just a fraction further. <laughs> you barely even notice it with the lobbers, but still pretty cool to see the jump, you know, um, when the coil snake bar is all the way full. I like it. Okay, guys, so 8-Bit is next on our list, and 8-Bit has pretty decent range for like a bursty brawler in the game, kind of like Colt and Rico. Um, so I'm I'm interested in seeing what it looks like going further. Yeah, that's freaking epic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, you really notice it on these types of brawlers, like your Colts and your Ricos and stuff like that, and Pipers. Spammy butt. Oof. They're everywhere, man. They're freaking everywhere. Die, Pam. All right, so we made our way to the final Trophy Road Brawler on our list today, and that is M. So we all know the distance of M's, nothing crazy in particular, but man, that Cold Snake looks pretty, man. I like the cone stuff. Oh my goodness, they don't stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. Oh my goodness, M's would be broken with just a tiny bit more rage. Look at that, the freaking snipe. <laughs> Die, bots. <laughs> yep, I'll go. <laughs> Take that smoke to the bank. Do with it what you will. I have to kill this bot, guys. I have to. I have to do it for the pride. The pride ski. <laughs> I like that one. Another one of my favorites. So this next one, a lot of people were requesting. I feel like I've gotten this on almost every single Star Power Glitch episode that I've gotten so far on my channel. And that is Primo. So the... <laughs> I can see why that looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, let's see if we can snipe some people with El Primo here. Snipe! <laughs> snipe with Primo! My goodness. Yeah? You think I'm afraid of your freaking power cube advantage here? I got range on my side, baby! <laughs> Dude, this... Ah! Jump away! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> next is Barley, our next lobber on our list. And again, I haven't been very uh, impressed by the lobbers in today's video. That one actually looked pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So that is max range without Coiled Snake. So we have a good imprint in our minds of where it is. That, yeah, that one's way cooler than the others because it just feels like it floats in the air forever. <laughs> I like that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Making our way downtown. The next rare brawler on our list is Poco here, so I want to see that cone, how far does it go out. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Nothing crazy, nothing to write home to, to mom about or anything like that, but still pretty decent. Are you going to let me get one more off maybe, Mr. Bots? Or say Mrs. Bots? I'm surrounded by the girl bots here. You know what? It's the Pams today, guys. The Pams are really getting on my nerves. I have to kill this Pam. One of us will die! 
No! Now, since Primo was actually really, really cool, far cooler than I thought it was going to be, I'm assuming Rosa is also going to be really, really cool to look at. So here we go. Wow. <laughs> That's like a... I don't know what that range would be close to. Like an M's? Oh, yeah. That's sweet, man. They just spread out even further. The three uh, fists. All right, let's see if we can snipe this M's down here. Someone go for me. Come here, M's. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> We're going to die for sure, but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> that was cool. Shock and the boo. Shock and the boo. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, y'all. Finally making it into the super rare brothers. And the first one is going to be Rico. So that is our maximum range. Again, we've already seen a few brothers kind of like this. Daryl, just let me do my thing here. Huh? Huh? But that is <laughs> the next max range. Oh, I hate these bugs. Get away from me! So the next super rare on our list is Daryl here. And you know what? I've been really enjoying the shorter range brawlers more than the long range brawlers to get added range. But look at that. That was freaking awesome. Ape it. Just let me have my fun here. Okay. Okay. Look at that. That chip damage. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, bots are freaking tag teaming me. Yeah, just have fun with yourselves over there, you stupid bots. But look at that. My goodness. Does it? Cold Snake work on supers? I don't, I'm 100% certain it doesn't, but it'd be cool to see the jump at least. Maybe there would be like a little glitch or something. Um, but yeah, Daryl, cool. All right, so next is Penny. This is her range now. I think we're starting to get the gist of some of these brawlers. Um, if I were to leave out brawlers in this video, which I've already decided not to, I would have left out Penny. But man, look at that range. My goodness. What would you guys say that range is close to? Like a Pipers or a Brox, something like that? Maybe even further than that? But it just keeps going. It's so weird just to see like a smidget bigger than what we're normally used to seeing on these brawlers. It's really cool. This should be a really cool one where we're using Carl here with Cold Snake. This is regular range. Why do I keep spawning here? This is a horrible place to spawn. I always get sandwiched. Yeah, bull. I get it. You're angry with me. You want to kill me. Leave me alone. Do I have to hit you? Ooh, I like that. Just freak off, bull. You're annoying the crap out of me here. And this is the range. I just want to see how long it floats out there. <laughs> it takes forever to come back to me. All right, let's try it one more time. Dang, yeah, that's a really cool one. I'm just, I swear, guys, this game is trying to test my mental. We keep spawning in the same place. Right in between two bots. Just let me be somewhere else. But man, Piper's range is crazy. Oh my goodness, yeah, I like this one as well. Look how far it goes. It just it doesn't seem all that impressive because it goes so fast, the bullet. What is this barley doing guys i'm at my wits end with these bots guys you know what barley die 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 all right so this one i was really looking forward to seeing as well and that's cold snake on pam here so we'll see what it looks like so this is normal range we all know what it looks like but with coiled snake not as impressive as i thought it would be just longer range um i like the like things that are like in a really straight cone um, shape. I don't know how to explain it like like the El Primo where it's just like you're so used to seeing like this straight angled thing I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. You guys get what I'm saying <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> I think this one will demonstrate the perfect example of what I was trying to convey in that last one Unsuccessfully and that is Frank's just uh, something that you're so used to seeing whatever, but here we go So much further so much more eye appealing in my opinion man. That's epic. Just imagine if uh, Frank had that range You'd be insane. My goodness, I gotta see that one more time. Okay. Bam. That is sick. Okay, so the next one is, of course, one of my personal favorites in all of Brawl Stars, any of these star power glitches, and that is BBs. The animation doesn't go, which is probably one reason why I enjoy it so much, is the animation doesn't really work with it, but you still get that snipe if you connect with them, and the bots are just... <laughs> they don't know what the heck's going on. Look at that 8-bit. You think you can mess with me? Get sniped by my home run bat. Mwahaha. <laughs> Die. Yeah? Come back, Bubble. I'll let you go this time, bot, but I severely want to kill you. You're lucky I'm trying to keep this video shorter. <laughs> Spawning in the same place, guys. Someone count back how many times I've spawned in this place. My goodness. So, bees range now. Or with Cold Snake? Man, that goes forever. It may have just looked like it because I was kiting backwards. So let's get a better look at it. 
Yeah, man, that floats. I like that one a lot. Um, but kind of the same deal as, like, you know, Brock. That is a reason why Brock is scared. You see that? You see that, auto-aim? No one can match a bot's auto-aim. Puts the fear of God in you, man. The fear of God. <laughs> What am I saying? All right, moving along to Tara, and the game is trying to deceive me. It spawned me in the same spot, except mirrored. Don't think you can fool me like that, Brawl Stars. I may be dumb, but not that dumb. We're getting pinched already. This is why I hate this spot. Yeah, Bo? We can die, Bo. I'm letting out my frustration on these bots this game. Screw ya! Screw ya! Come here, 8-Bit. I know you want to kill me. Look how juicy I am. I have no power cubes. Oh, yeah, you could kill me so easily. You could get me. You can get me. Let's have him shoot. Ah! All right, moving along to Gene. We're getting closer to the end of our video today. But here we go. Let's see what it looks like with Gene. So I really wanted to see this one as well. So that's the range. I want to see if it increases just like the base, how far the actual like full magic puff um, distance goes, or if it just extends the break off part of it. So let's see here. It does. That's cool. So the thing that changes is the distance of the grouped magic puff. That's really cool. I like that a lot. All right. So moving along to Max here. That's the distance, the normal distance. Now let's take a look at what Cold Snake looks like here. So bam. Man, it touches that wall back there. You know, from that angle, it really didn't look that impressive. <laughs> let's see if like this. Is that any better? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> Screw you, Nita. Now, this one is definitely not going to be that cool because we're all used to how long Mr. P's distance was before he got nerfed. So it's not going to be all that crazy. We've seen like that distance pretty much the <laughs> the base of Mr. P's um, range, how he was before the nerf. So not that cool. <laughs> all right, everybody. So we're making it into our legendary brothers. And I'm really curious to see what Spike does with the Cold Snake. I'm assuming, I'm hoping this is how it works where the... The spike um, ricocheted shots off the main attack will go further. That'd be really cool, but I'm thinking it's just the spike bomb. Yeah, unfortunately. It never goes the way that you want to. Man, like bows, man. If I did a bot annoying tier list, Bo would be so high up there. How many times has Bo botted me in this video? Freaking hate you, Bo. Alright, so next is Crow, and sorry to do this to your eyes, but I still have the White Crow skin activated from my bet with Ben. I haven't switched it off yet, surprisingly enough. Um, but there we go. Oh my goodness. Just leave me alone. Let me make my video. I swear they just smell you. You're like blood in the water. <laughs> but that's the Coiled Snake distance. That's basic attack. Pretty decent on Crow. Okay, guys, so around the corner to our last two, this one is Leon. So we'll see how this looks here. That jump wasn't all that impressive, in my opinion. Like the visual on the jump from the attack cone. But you know, it's visibly much further. Uh, the actual distance, that's a pretty good one. And our final brawler of the video today is Sandy. And I think this one should be really cool as well. So normal distance, hmm, that came up goofy. Does it always do that? Where one end of the magic puff goes out first? Does it matter which way you're facing? Am I just noticing this now? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see how far it looks now. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, guys. Man, I'm surprised I just noticed that now. What the heck? Have I not been playing Brawl Stars this whole time? Freaking bots, man. But yeah, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. I know Coiled Snake was something that a lot of people were asking for in the comments of last episode. If you guys like the difference in uh, the way that I'm organizing these videos, especially the last two, where I do all the star powers on one individual brawler or one star power on all the brawlers that they're compatible with, uh, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'm also intrigued to do this because a lot of the time I know that the star powers work on the brawler, but I haven't tested them out myself. I just know that they're going to work, much like Coiled Snake. I know that they were are all going to work but I haven't seen a lot of them like El Primo or Rosa so it was really cool to make this video for me at least um, but yeah guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to slap a like on it really appreciate that and with that being said everybody make sure to keep having fun Brawl Stars and we'll see you in the next video peace out